Welcome to another episode of Reason Explained. Today, we are analyzing the new echo effect in Reason 6. This is a super powerful delay device that does a lot more than just delay. By the end of this overview, you should be able to enhance your sound down to the precision of a surgeon. So let's begin. There are three delay modes. The default is normal mode, which is a delay that is on all the time. Next, you can set a trigger delay. Following this line down, is your trigger button, where you can initiate the delay. The last mode is roll. This is a super cool feature that they built into this delay. By sliding the roll knob to the right, it triggers the delay. It takes a small slice of what is playing and repeats it until you slide the knob back to the left. Next is your delay section. Here you have your basic delay functions like time and pan, but remember this isn't a basic delay. Selecting the sync button will change the unit of your time knob from milliseconds to a time signature. Next to the time knob, you have your right channel offset. This is like a built-in house delay effect. By delaying the right speaker slightly, your ears perceive depth in the sound. The keep pitch button will maintain your sound as you modulate the effect. This is useful when you are adding automation to your time knob. Last is your ping pong. Here, you can make your delay ping from one speaker to another. Next is your feedback section. Turning the feedback knob up will increase the number of repeats. The offset button will add or subtract delays from your right speaker. Adding diffuse is like adding reverb to your feedback. By adjusting the spread and amount knobs, you can melt the repeats to make the delay sound smoother. Up next is your color section. Here, you can add character to your feedback. You have four options to choose from. They are limiter, overdrive, distortion, and tube. Adjusting the drive knob will brighten the feedback. The filter portion of the color section is a bandpass filter. A bandpass filter lets certain frequencies pass through, which is determined by your frequency knob, while stopping others from passing. The resonance knob will boost these frequencies that you choose to pass through. Next is your modulation section. Think of this section as the master section of your delay. Here you have the envelope and wobble. The envelope will twist the pitch of your repeats. A negative value will bend the pitch down, while a positive value will bend it up. Adjusting the wobble knob will add a tape speed effect. Last, you have your LFO that can introduce further modulation to the right and left speakers. Adjusting the rate knob sets the frequency of the pulse, and the amount knob mixes it with the rest of the feedback. Your output section has the dry and wet mix and another great function called ducking. Turning this knob up will duck the delay until the signal has stopped and then the delay rushes in. This is really nice for vocals. Now, let's tab around to the back. You'll notice that you have your standard audio in and outputs and CV input section. What you will also notice is the breakout section. Here, you can chain up additional effects to further shape the delays. Thanks for checking this video out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe.